Welcome to Market Matters. I'm Weilin Tang. Today with Suhi Asman. We bring you companies in the news. Today we have Eco World Development Group Berhad making headlines again uh, uh. because they actually bought 2,000 acres of leasehold land uh, and EJOC. Uh, selling off for 1.18 billion ringgit, so he. Now you know, um, as you know, uh, Eco World. I mean, if tomorrow Nadia's phrase, I mean, and hopefully she's there, good in in Japan. Um, it's a case of corporate Jesus, basically the middle starch by Tansil Yukisi. Now, what what this company is up to is that they are buying, as you said earlier, buying some land in Ijo Selango for 1.18 billion ringgit, total of 26 pieces, and they just enter in separate. Uh, Into five uh, different um, agreements. Five, uh, five different agreements with a price per square foot range between nine and 17 ringgit per. Square foot. Now, this actually land uh, was actually appraised and valued by Henry Butcher Malaysia uh, with an indicative market value of 1.19 billion ringgit. So the purchase price is slightly just lower than that. Uh, but yeah, when I look at this announcement, uh, Eco World is clearly not resting on its laurels. It, it really wants to be a big player. Yes, said it. Uh, he has done a corporate exercise. Of course, it's, it's, it's controlled it, by Tansil. It, it is on the way there, <clears throat> exactly. You know, he was actually the corporate Jesus to borrow Nadia's phrase again from SP Setia going into Eco uh, going into Eco World, and of course, he doesn't he doesn't control this. The, the company directly. Of course, he has his sons uh, to control it from there. But I think he, we are clearly seeing something brewing. But the question, here's a question though. They are buying the land in Ijo of all the places. And is this a move for them to inflate the price around that area? Well, I don't, <coughs> not sure right now, but they did say that in the announcement, it tends to develop the land into a self-contained township with a potential GDV of 15 billion ringgit. I mean, at the moment, right, Eco World has been known to build luxury houses, luxury homes, etc. Yes, they are going to build some affordable houses. They call it Laman Idaman or, or something like that. But but again, you know, the the phase the phase one of the house starts at 400,000 uh, uh, per unit. I mean, imagine if they have so many phases, right? Going to the end, it might be millions. and, and I wonder whether the people of Selangor can actually afford that kind of development. Well, uh, I'm sure they have their reasons. Uh, Eco will actually, uh, they will actually fund this actually through internal funds uh, as well as also bank borrowings. I uh, had a quick look. So as at July 31st, uh, their cash and fixed deposits is about 620 million ringgit. This is against its total borrowings of 1.5 billion ringgit. But Suhi, I think in an announcement, Eco will actually said that it's in the process of refining uh, its partnership uh, for the growth business model, which means that it will actually raise equity funding at the project level. Uh, that means to say that instead of its subsidiary, the acquirer actually just fully funding the project on its own, uh, it will actually rake in like-minded institutional private equity and corporate partners to actually co-invest and fund uh, the, the project. I think they also need to be taken a prudent step as well. Yes, they, they recently completed the corporate exercise where they raised quite a number of cash. And at the same time, you know, their gearings are actually quite high. So it makes sense for them to actually bring in equity partner and they would hold at least 30% stake in, right, their, in, this, particular in development. this particular development and so that they can actually enjoy some profits made, I mean, by way of uh, uh, equity accounting. accounting. They will also appoint uh, one of its subsidiaries uh, to be the development manager to manage this entire project. So at least they will still get a certain fee-based income stream uh, for the whole group. Mm. Okay, and I think you know this might be might bode well for Eco World, but then again, you know we have to also assess whether what kind of developments um, where, that Eco World is throwing in into the public. We have to commend them though, because uh, remember we were just talking about this last Friday right. uh, when they announced their results. Their results, yeah, and, quite um, a stat. I mean, they they have they didn't provide any comparisons, but I think you know if you look in the year on year or if you look in the period to period, it actually grew by by some substantial I amount. Think the earnings didn't grow, but their sales on a sales level they did meet. Uh, they, they are on track to meet their full year. How much is that again? Target. 3 billion ringgit? I think 3 billion ringgit. So they've actually achieved 2.37 billion ringgit Which is about uh, 80% 10, of their sales. Now to wrap up Eco World Development Group Berhad, uh, it has bought, today actually entered into agreements, five agreements to buy 2,000 acres of leasehold land in Egypt for 1.18 billion ringgit. So uh, it's, the company is actually very serious about being a big boy in the property scene in Malaysia. And also the management said that it's in the process of refining its partnership uh, for the growth business model, which means that it will start considering raising equity funding at the project level. And that's all we have for today. I'm Willin Tang, joined by Suhi Asman as well as Jonathan Gunn. For more, please refer to uh, www.hmarkets.com. Thank you for watching.